Campbell kind of settling in right now. You know, you got the early jitters playing in the big time arena against a top ranked team. Well, there's Luke Boyer. He knocks down that long triple. Boyer open for three. Got it. Boyer with a basket and a foul. Boyer hits the three. Three-pointer, good. That'll get him up and yelling. Three, passes it up, dribbles down low to Leonard for two and the foul. Give it to Moyer. He'll hoist the three. Nothing but nylon. To Moyer. Moyer open for three right side. Swirls home. And to Ray. Ray over to Moyer. Moyer's going to shoot again and make again. A five point play because off the main three was a foul on Campbell's. Campbell's, but they're unable to score, so the Panthers come back on defense ahead of this game 11 4. A deep three by Boyer, and he buries it for the first three for the outside. He shoots, now coming almost 50%. Yeah, and that's a breakdown by high point. If you got a guy shooting 50% from beyond the arc, you cannot give him any space. Campbell shooting that student section, which never sits. Gonna have to get a hand in the face of Moyer, who's heating up for two threes. Again, that's twice. You leave a guy that's shooting close to 50% from the three-point line wide open for an uncontested three. Another deep three, and that's three for three by Luke Moyer, who's amped up tonight. Trying to spoil the party for high point. He's trying to win a regular season title. His range seems unlimited. That was deep contested. Moyer on fire right now. Luke Boyer, number one, with that incredible outside range. Well, high point is back into a matchup zone. Moyer from the wing can knock the three down, and that's four tonight for the sophomore out of Pennsylvania. That is the one person you cannot leave alone if you're high point. Luke Boyer, he's got to be over 50% now from the three-point line. They say the Camels don't have much to play for. Well, they can play spoiler tonight and prevent High Point from winning the Big South Championship. That was surprising it wasn't contact or a foul call. Almost a turnover there, then a turnaround shot. Parried from the outside by Luke Moyer. I'll tell you what, Luke Moyer has been impressive. Knocking down threes, equally as impressive, his handle able to get into the lane. He looked like Steve Nash on that one right there. That's been the story of the game. This young man right here, Luke Boyer, has been impressive. That's NBA range right there off of a little duck back screen. And then the movement, the offense, they spread you out. And Luke Boyer is a guy that shoots coming into this game close to 50% from the three-point line. Down 13 to 11, 8.39 to go. McCarter has it left side of the key into the corner. Boyer, 4-3, and the lead good. Good job. How about that? After the key, right side to Lee. Charleston Southern playing some ferocious man-to-man -man defense. Hamer to Moyer. Moyer with 10 on the shot clock. Between the rings, gets it left side to Lee. Lee back to Moyer. Moyer's going to put up an NBA range three. Good. Luke Moyer has six points. Campbell leads by seven, their largest advantage of the ball game. McCarter looking down low. He'll give it to Antoine Oliver, top of the key. Oliver back to McCarter. Cross court Moyer. He's going to hoist from three and hit it. <laughs> wow. That one was a couple of steps behind the three point arc. Moyer feeling it tonight. Hamer wants to call a play. Hamer from the camel head, right side to Moyer. 
Moyer hit three threes in the first half. In for the first time in the second. He's going to hoist again and get it. That's good. Luke Moyer, four for four from beyond the arc. He has tied his season high. A timeout coming at the next whistle. Saunders goes up, blocked by Rico into the hand of Saunders. He puts it up, is blocked by Lee. Here's Moyer, three on one. Moyer, Hamer, layup good. Gets an inch outside to Desmond Lee. The three ball. Rebound comes down to Oliver. Important final minute and 15 here for the Camels. Moyer, the long three. Luke Moyer from downtown. And that hurt them in the Cincinnati game. That was a reason they lost the game. They go three for nine in the second half. NC State from the free throw line, and you wonder if it was fatigue or not. Moyer for three. Oh, a confident looking stroke that time for Luke Moyer, the transfer from Richmond. 15 to shoot for Oliver. Here's Moyer in the paint, bowls over Lewis, that'll be a blocking foul. And Luke Moyer will head to the strike. As Moyer went into his shot, Cuts the lead to seven. How about the minutes that Luke Moyer has given Campbell? Quality minutes off the bench now with eight points. He looks like a starter to me with what we've he, seen he, from him he, early part of the year, he doesn't really he? He really does. He really does. He's the future uh, at the point for this program. He could play along with Tyler Lewis as well. But Possession for the Camels. Here's Moyer, the wide open look. Boy, Moyer silky smooth with that release. Moyer, a perfect three for three from behind the arc. Found him at Coronado's, not missing that one. Big body. Coronado had an amazing tournament last year. Played really well, helped Liberty win the whole thing. A very aggressive rebounder from Venezuela, J.R. Coronado. Here's Moyer off the bench, already hot. He lit it up in practice and is evidenced by the numbers. Just under 50% from deep. You see over him. That foul on Campbell went to DJ Mason. Five different Camels with one foul apiece. That was 25 and a half seconds. That was close. Moyer, beautiful take. Well, he's such a prolific three-point shooter that if he shot fakes, you close out on him. He took advantage of the opening, got all the way to the rack. Liberty back to the zone, but they have to communicate in the zone because you got to know where Moyer is, you got to know where other shooters are. Tough to shoot over Galo, he's so big, he did it anyway and stuck it. Nothing but net for Moyer, his second three. He's got eight first half points, and that's a big shot for the Camels. You put it on the rim so every shot in practice is a miss. You may see Campbell pull that out to help them in the block up. Campbell's nearly 10 minutes since her last field goal. They need one here. Inside out. Carter couldn't pull the trigger. Good patience. Seven to shoot. Moore with the left hand, and finally the drought is over. Big basket for Kevin McGeehan and company. Luke Moyer now with four points. Possibly going down today. As we get set to move under a minute to play. Campbell's got to go. They look confused. Moyer from 27. Big shot by Luke Moyer. The transfer from Richmond. And just like that, the Campbell's right back in it. They're never out of it. They look a little confused. Nobody was moving. Moyer just knocks it down. He did this against Charleston Southern in their last game. He went four for five from three. Campbell got a big win. And he's basically been the Campbell offense the last 15 minutes of game time. Team foul number three called against the Maroon and Gold. So a fresh 35 now for Campbell. As Oliver gets set to inbound, a bounce low on the left. Finds Harris, back to Oliver, right of the key. Up top, Moyer, he'll load up a three. Got it, nothing but net. Luke Moyer is now nine of 13 from beyond the arc, folks. That's exactly right, nine of 13. 
It's about a 70% clip from downtown, and that evens his ball game up at 13. Here's White to the foul line. Lob feed low on the right. Osborne try to touch layup attempt, and he missed it, left it short. Rebound comes out to DJ Mason. Mason up ahead. Three ball right corner is strong out of the hands of Oliver, but Moyer got it back in the offensive rebound and knocked down a three ball from the other end. And just like that, Campbell has a three-point lead. Moyer has come off the bench, knocked down two straight from beyond the arc. Now draw even with Campbell at 16 apiece. 7.57 to play first half. Here's Leak. Here's to Hamer. Hamer on the dribble against Turk. Two hands a pass to Leak Leak. Back up top, Leonard. High post feed over to Andrew Ryan, back to the basket. Refeeds Leak at the left point. Looks left, passes off to Moyer between the circles. He's matched up with Leonard Akubo. Has a screen from Ryan. Drifts left wing, drives on Doyle, left of the key. All the way to the rack, went right by Doyle and scooped it up and in left of the rim with the left hand. Luke Moyer has eight points off the bench here in the first half. He has hit any rim here at home at Gore Arena. Meanwhile, Moyer hits seven point lead for PC. Media timeout coming at the next whistle as we are under eight in this first half. Moyer at the top of the key, curls, drives, left-handed layup good. It is the fourth, Truss is the sixth. So they get a little tuckered out down there as well, which is why they have let some leads evaporate in the second half this season. Second free throw goes down, it's 48 to 45. Leak has it left side of the key, he'll give it to Leonard, top of the key. Leonard hands off to Ryan. Ryan gives to Moyer into the game for Ray. Moyer directing traffic, right side Leonard. Leonard back to Moyer, open for three, top of the key, good. He can shoot. Visiting teams on the road this season in the Big South, pretty good. 28 and 32, something you usually don't see in conference play and coming into tonight. The South had a 16 and 14 record versus the North. Moyer dribbles, nobody picks him up, so he just sticks it from the right side. All of his threes tonight, and he has three of them, Coach, yeah. have been a couple steps beyond the three-point line. Two minutes to go. Campbell leads by nine. Luke Moyer facing full court pressure, beats Terry into the front court. Moyer backs up to the scorer's table with the dribble. He's going to get a pick. Inside the arc, puts up the running layup, good! Luke Moyer hits it. Moyer with 13. Get defeated in Big South Conference play at home. The last time they were at home, lost by two to Coastal Carolina. Getting back on the winning track, trying to go to five and one at home. Oliver top of the key, left side McCarter. McCarter motioning, and he'll go back between the rings. Campbell just needs to take care of the ball now. Moyer at the top of the key. Moyer with nine on the shot clock. Puts it up for three and hits it. And he motions to the crowd with three fingers on each hand. He can shoot it. Luke Moyer came into the game 47% from beyond the arc. Four three-pointers tonight.